so let us consider the following problem uh, following profit maximization problem uh, suppose revenue is four times uh, y okay so what that means is the price is four and output is y okay so that's a revenue and let's say the cost is y square okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw marginal revenue and i'm going to just tell you that how you can actually go from marginal revenue to total revenue okay so this is output this is marginal revenue marginal cost on the vertical axis so what is the marginal revenue what is the derivative of the revenue with respect to y what is it four okay and what is the marginal cost two y okay so let me plot these two okay first let me plot the marginal revenue okay uh, so notice that the marginal revenue is a horizontal line like this okay so if i want to figure out what is my total revenue from marginal revenue at let's say this quantity why not so how do i do that well margin revenue is the derivative of the revenue so total revenue is the integral of the margin revenue okay that's exactly the thing so if you want to figure out what is the total revenue at y not it is a definite integral from zero to y not of the marginal revenue okay so it is this area you know because definite integral this is the interpretation that you know it gives you the area okay so that's your total revenue okay is that fine so if you want you can verify this four times so what is the height of this this uh, rectangle four what is the length of this rectangle why not so what is the area four times why not which is exactly equal to the revenue at why not is that clear to everyone okay now let me do the same thing with marginal cost okay so if you are going to consider marginal cost uh, picture uh, you will get uh, again the total cost uh, so actually total variable cost okay so there is a difference between total cost and total variable cost uh, so uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that okay but in this case there is no fixed cost okay so we are going to get total cost uh, if we are going to integrate marginal cost okay from zero to y naught okay again let's say this is the point uh, at which i want to find the total cost and i want to use the marginal cost curve okay so what is the marginal cost curve how is that going to look it's a straight line what is the slope of this line two is that okay so slope is two okay so if you want to figure out what is the total cost at y naught so how do you do that well you're going to compute the integral of uh an integral of marginal cost from zero to y naught right okay which is nothing but this area so i mean of course you can do the integral you'll get the same thing as the area okay uh, so how will you find the area okay so just, let's just use the area approach to to uh to find uh, the total cost okay so can you tell me what is the height of this uh, triangle i want to find the area of this triangle right okay and i want to show that area of this triangle is actually the total cost at y naught level of output so can you tell me what is the height of this triangle it's 2 y naught okay okay so the height is 2 y naught and the base is y naught okay so you know the, the the area is actually half base into height okay so you're gonna get what y naught square and you can see that that's exactly the cost at at uh y naught level of output okay so basically from if you want to go from um marginal cost to total cost okay all that you need to do is just just uh, integrate uh, the marginal cost with respect to uh, output and uh, you will get uh, the total cost is that fine and if you want to come from total cost to marginal cost you just need to differentiate 
the total cost with respect to output and you're going to get the margin cost is this fine okay so always remember that this is your total cost okay because that is something that we'll be using okay uh, when i'll be drawing the picture then i'll be comparing the areas because eventually it is all about uh, maximizing the profit so maximizing the profit means that uh, i want to maximize the difference between the area of the revenue marginal revenue and the margin cost okay so whatever is the difference i want to maximize that is that clear okay 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 so great uh, let's see now let's do this problem okay so let me just draw this again okay and let's just do this problem so i'm going to do this problem using the graph okay okay so let me first plot margin revenue curve So notice that the margin revenue is four, so it's just fixed like this, okay? And now let me plot marginal cost, okay? So marginal cost will be like this. Okay, now let's see what is my profit if I choose this quantity. Okay, suppose I choose this quantity and I want to just graphically see what is my profit. Okay, so how do I get that? Well, let me first figure out what is my cost at this quantity. My cost at this quantity is this much, right? Yes. This area is my cost at this quantity. Okay, and what is my revenue at this quantity? It is this area. So let me just shade only the profit. Okay, so I'm going to shade the profit in blue color. Okay, so let's see. Do you agree this difference in areas is my profit? Yes. Now, can I increase my profit? Is there a way I can increase my profit? Basically, can I increase this blue area? Yes, yes, I can. If I just exactly increase the output a little bit, I'll be able to increase my profit. Okay, so let's see. Let's just try and do that. Okay. Now, let's consider this point, for example. Okay, now let me figure out my profit in this case. Okay, and let's see if I can increase my profit uh, if I'm here. Okay, so fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, this area is your cost, right? And this area is your revenue do you agree okay so what is going on so if you subtract this area from this area basically this area is like a plus and this is like a minus do you agree so i'm going to put plus in the blue and minus in the red is that okay so this is a plus. So basically this means that this is your profit, but you also incurred loss on some units. Okay, so you incurred loss here. Okay, so what is your total profit? Total profit is this.
and minus this this area minus this area do you agree is that okay if you have this area as your revenue and this area as your cost what you can do is you can just divide it into two regions if you want to figure out the difference you can say that on these units you made money and on these units you lost money right so can you increase your profit if you are here exactly just by producing less you can actually reduce this minus region okay and uh, uh, you can you can make more profit okay is that clear to everyone okay so this is a very clear picture that tells you where the profit is maximum okay so the profit is maximum at this point okay this is profit maximizing is that clear okay this point is the point which is profit maximizing so what level of output maximizes profit notice that this point has this feature that marginal revenue equals marginal cost so all that you're going to do is equate these two 2y equals 4 and that's going to give you y equal to 2 so that's the profit maximizing choice and that's your supply okay that's what you will be supplying when the price is 4 is that clear this picture should be absolutely clear to all of you okay i'll be using this kind of picture a lot okay to solve profit maximization problem and you will find that this is so helpful that even very complicated looking problems can be solved just by drawing this picture you know if you know the interpretation of these areas uh, then you can easily figure out the profit maximizing choice okay so let's uh, now figure out the supply function in this case so what is the supply function revenue is py okay so if you want to figure out the supply function uh well you're going to just replace this four by p okay and now you're you're going to figure out the optimal supply for every price level okay so that's what you're going to do and the cost is y square okay so if you do the same uh kind of analysis you will get marginal revenue is p and uh marginal cost is 2y okay now uh as long as p is positive okay as long as p is positive uh you'll always find uh this intersection uh you know at a positive level of output okay uh, uh so all that you have to do is just equate these two because it's the same story you know if p is slightly smaller uh well if sorry about that if p is slightly smaller then uh, marginal revenue curve will look like this okay and in that case this will be the optimal choice okay and if p is slightly bigger then uh, marginal revenue curve will look like this and in that case that will be the choice okay so all that you have to do is uh, you know all the time you have to equate price with the marginal cost and you will get the optimal supply okay so uh, so let's see what is the optimal supply in this case y equals p by 2 okay so that's the supply function is this clear have you all understood this have you all understood this at p equal to 0 it will be 0 okay so because the uh, the marginal revenue function will look like this okay and then obviously you will only lose okay well price is something which is given for a competitive firm competitive firm doesn't choose the price competitive firm takes prices given okay and that's why we are taking prices given 
okay so this is so basically this formula also works for price equal to zero okay so output will be the supply will be zero if if price is zero okay is that fine okay uh, otherwise you know you can always draw the picture and see for yourself at p equal to zero what the firm will do okay if the p is zero then marginal revenue is, is zero right i mean it's just a horizontal line like this okay uh, coinciding with the horizontal axis and in that case if this is a margin cost uh, you know if you produce positive amount of output you'll only make losses yes so what is the best choice zero okay okay so recall that this is actually a decreasing returns to scale situation remember this is the decreasing returns to scale situation right because the cost is increasing like this yes that's a graph of the cost function right so it's a decreasing returns to scale situation Great. 